Hello everyone, this is IWarmer Day 567 and we're back with an update video. I know I haven't done anything this weekend since the end of Orcran time. I've been a little busy and a little swamped. I mean, I needed the break, to be honest. And you guys probably felt that too, so... That's done. <gasps> Ooh, excuse me, just had lunch. So I just wanted to go over a few things, get everything set and show what I did during the weekend. Because there was an event I did. First of all, Orcran time, bonus video. I do know about it, I do have enough stuff for it. It will happen. Don't worry, it's coming. That will be in probably the next video. Batman, I haven't decided if I'm doing the challenge maps or not, because I'm still figuring out if I'm going to be able to, and learning them. My next project, I would tell you this right now, but there's one problem. With all the stuff that Nintendo's done lately, I don't know if I want to do it. I mean, there's stuff that I want to do, and there's stuff that I really want to do. But the problem is, right, and this is a big conundrum that I've been thinking about all weekend. If I go with Nintendo, they've actually given me at least a little bit of money. I mean, I can get at least a little bit for the Nintendo Creators Program. Which is a lot more than YouTube gives me, which is Jack and, well, you know the other word. So, do I go and risk having more projects not... Like, I'm going to either have to go ad-free... Or Nintendo only at this point. That's how things are looking right now. And the way things are also looking, no money's not going to be an option for too much longer. So I'm in that little bit of conundrum. That's why I haven't picked out a project yet. Also, if you haven't played Please Wake Up and you wanted to or you haven't voted for it, please, please highly do so. I mean, get the word out there. Play it. Get... Get, pro get runs of it up on YouTube. Do whatever you need to. Because that's another thing that... If it does do well... I'm going to be okay. Things will be get better around here. I mean, there is a little bit of... Dark Horse going on. Stuff that's on the worry table behind... That we don't want to go into. Because we're trying to keep this happy and trying to keep this good. Just note that if things need to change... They will at a moment's notice. And you will be informed... As soon as it happens. Also on the table, I'm going to save the other bit of news for the end of this. But, if any of my viewers, or fans, or friends, or whoever, are and you're watching this, and you're in the Virginia area in October and November, keep your eye out, because one of my good friends, and one of my fellow YouTuber, and a fellow, well, I wouldn't call him a fellow streamer, because I'm not a streamer, but one of the guys I hang out with a lot in his stream that I've met Matt that we have hung out at MAGFest and I've been to his stream a few times live he's actually going on tour he's going to a few bookstores and well I shouldn't say bookstores they're retro game stores I mean you know those kind of give out magic gathering cards you can buy like that's e for anyone in my area I mean that'd be what I'd compare it to but yeah He's going around and doing some, I want I think he called them lectures, I think. It's something, I'll post his video in the comments, but yeah. If you want to go and check him out, it's going to be pretty good. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, it's one of those things that, it's fun to check out. Plus, you can check out the store, get yourself some goods. I mean, have a little bit of fun with it, you know. He's going to be in the area. Why not have a little bit of fun that day, right? And now, the reason why I was kind of also away this weekend, why there's no video today, and why there was none yesterday. I was at Carver, Massachusetts again this weekend. You remember this last year, I went up for King Richard's. So yeah, we're going back there again. Well, we went back there, I should say. Past sense, because it's Tuesday, I'm actually just got my voice back up, so... I'm going to go over a little bit and have a little bit of fun with the conversation, so... Can we roll that beautiful jousting footage? No, the jousting footage, not the bean footage! Thank you. We're here, we're live at the event. I'm gonna try to keep as quiet as I can, but... Well, you know that's not gonna happen. But yeah, in this one, you can see that the knights are actually trying to grab rings, and we're showing the best part of it off with... Well, the hardest part, I shouldn't say. Not, not necessarily the best. But watch how this one ends, is all I can say. Brilliant! Really 
Yeah. There's a knight that we've been cheering for. We're in his section. They split up into four corners, so each corner has a knight that came to him. Ours is the Sir Joffrey. He's the one in blue. I'll try to put pictures of the others in there. And we'll go on to the next event now. This was later in the day. This is the second joust of the day. This one gets a little interesting. This is where all the fun happened, by the way. I mean, this is where the fun really happens, where you got them clashing lance and swords together. The guy that we see waving his hands that's trying to get us to cheer, he was a lot of fun. I mean, he gets the crowd going during the performance. Plus, he tells you what cheers to do, what when to do them, and all that, so that way you're not missing cues. So pay attention to him out of the corner of your eye while watching the action. Each corner has one themselves, too. So yeah, you're not going to miss much. You all, that guy just went off his horse. I forget the other three's name because while we were in cheering for him, I was just keeping attention to the guy that we were supposed to. And yes, that guy right there with the horse is a squire. I mean, they each have one of those two, and they're all colored to the night. But we don't want the horses running around crazy while this is going on, so someone's got to take care of them. I mean, it's a lot of fun to watch, and it's really exciting when, it, especially when they're coming at each other at full speed, and you're thinking, and you're just hoping that yours hangs on. So we'll see what happens next. I mean, there is a part coming up that's really a lot of fun. Okay, this I believe is the one that's gonna keep your eye closely on this next run when they come together. It's gonna be a very funny one. Did you catch it? Let's catch it on a replay. You can see the lance broken in the air and he tossed part of the pole up. That's how hard they hit. But don't forget that these are made of wood and that the speed of it will on metal impact. I mean, that is just... But yeah, these things do happen. I'll let the rest of this event play out and then we'll go to the next event. Which is the third joust. No, wait, not the third job. We only record these. Her battery ran out. And yes, this is recorded off her phone, by the way. Because her actual camera ran out of batteries, and mine does not record sound worth. Well, you know. So you'd miss all the commentary. Now for the other half of our day, the actual throwing star competition. I wouldn't call it competition, I'd call it more game. I don't do a lot of talking over the guy, but in short, you say, you sure you guys how to throw a star. I'll have one with a clean one. But in short, you throw, you grab a point and you throw, and you try to hit one of those black stars. You really can't see them unless you're looking at it straight on like I was. But watch the first and last shot, I'll let these run, and then we'll go a little bit more. You're high, it's just a little high. <laughs> Good game there. <laughs> That's my best yet. <laughs> You I hit the dragon, I missed the target though. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, I was at the dots, I think. It might, it might. That's what he said. I'm glad he's so good. He's doing better than he did last year on this. I used to be a Six shots. Right. <laughs> Here's two. I have not been hit this season. I don't want that to change today. All right. No, 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 no,
Look how close that one was. I want my lawyer to be in this show. Oh. It's the one that lay right above. It made so I couldn't see if I could hit it or not. Is it too heavy? Here's attempt three. Have that. That means go. Would you consider yourself a ninja? Given the outfit I mean. Is that a ninja outfit? Sure. Yes. We're playing I Spy. I'm watching you with the ears. I'll your head back on your head Two hands. Two hands. one. We're just playing a game on so And unfortunately, Nancy had some glare, and the guy got the target, almost nailed the target next to me, so I had to change targets suddenly. Oh, okay. Oh, so you missed? Yeah. Bad luck again. Note that those are the only two I actually miss, I, if I remember correctly. But here's the second to last, I couldn't record the last one because she was dead, but yeah. The last one was actually my best one because I was actually circling around the guy. Well, the target. They aren't actually easy targets to hit, but they are hittable. I did see someone during the first section, session actually hit. Two people actually hit, if I remember correctly, during the first one, so it wasn't too bad. It's a lot of fun again. We got to walk around, have pizza. I didn't grab a turkey leg, because that's what they're known for, but because I wasn't really in the mood, and well, I heard they were extra salty, and well, nah, I wasn't in the mood for something salty that day. So I had the same pizza, burger, waffle fries on the side. I mean, it was good. It usually is. We did see all three jousting competitions throughout the day. We missed the opening ceremony because we got kind of hung up in traffic, but we chased the clouds out. We followed the ter the dark, ominous-looking clouds out of Carver for that event. So that was a little bit of fun. We did buy a little bit of goods. I got a small dragon keychain, which you could have seen... Well, I shouldn't say keychain pendant that you saw on my neck. I do have a flag signed by Sir Joffrey. It's sitting over on my... Pile. I'm not gonna go dig it out and show you because, well, it's just a blue and white pendant on a stick with a little bell on the top of it. I mean, it's nothing special. You saw it during the event, hopefully. Other than that, that's pretty much all I did on Sun on Sunday. That was the fun part. I've already gone over what happened Monday with what Cornshack's doing. I've already done a little bit of update. The other thing, and this is a topic that hit me right before the weekend that made me think. Now, a lot of you guys say, oh god, not this. And a few of you are like, what? But if you've heard what happened with Syndag Syndag Syndago over the week, I'm trying to say it right, but if I mess it up, I'm really sorry. Syndago, and how one of their members committed suicide during the weekend. Who's one of those that makes you think? I mean, it reminds me of some of the others that happened, and it reminds me that this is not an easy business. I mean... Think on all the pressure and the stress you got. it goes through. It's not easy, but I'm just going to keep this short and say, if you guys feel that, feel free to reach out and talk to someone. I mean, I've... I shouldn't say... All right, guys, please bleep that out. Thank you. Yeah, I've traded words with other people on this. I mean, we've gone back and forth to keep ourselves sane. Nancy's been a huge source of support. Which, by the way, she is working now, so that's why it's a little harder to do some things with some people. So if you see less stuff, that's why. But yeah. So everything's here, okay? I'm still doing the next project. It's, I want to say it's going to start towards the end of the week. I'm not 100% sure. Because I've still got a lot of stuff i got to work on. And plus, I'm trying to fix some things still. I'm trying to get my Madden season going. For those who don't know, I do a custom season every year. It's one of those things that's like, let's just have some fun. And before you say anything, no. It's none of the main NFL teams. It's 32 custom created teams. None, no players in the NFL. Nothing. It's a fresh league. Like, nothing. No Brady. No Rodgers. None of them. None, 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 none. None at all. It's all user-created, so it's all 
I only, I only put members on my team that I created. The rest of the game automatically put on some players like I want to say... Let me see, I do have the game booted right now. Coaching strategy, come on. Like, let's see, we got... Oh, I'm trying to see these names, they're not easy to read sometimes. I'm trying to find one of them. Sometimes it's hard reading. This is why I'm usually standing. It's like, uh, R. R. Wilson, John Hamilton. I mean, it's like people that it's pre-created from their user list with user-created faces, so they're not actually in the game. That's what I've been doing to relieve stress during the week, during the year. Trust me, what I've seen on the news, I don't want to watch NFL for a while. It's getting to a point where I don't want to turn on the TV, it's that bad, so... That's been my free time. That and Project Mirai, which if you do have, I do have my... Copy, I am enjoying it, I've been doing that during editing, it's a whole lot of fun. I do a couple videos for it, but there's a problem, is that I don't have a DS capture card, and it would look absolutely horrendous if I did it. So, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to, but I do recommend it, it's a good one if you like rhythm games... It's actually one thing I've been enjoying during editing. I mean, I've been putting pictures up during, so if you see my Twitter, you've seen it. But if you're not following, you're not getting the latest news, I suggest doing that or Facebook. Thank you very much. But yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I got nothing else to say at this time. So yeah, I'm getting the episode here, letting you know I'm alive and that was our update, so... I'll probably pop some other pictures in just so you can see what happened during the fair because there were some fun things that happened. So if you've seen those as a slideshow throughout, don't worry about it. So I'm getting the episode, well, the update video here. I hope you have fun, and I'll see you on the next one where we actually have a project sometime, hopefully later in the week. See you then.